Could nursing homes be held accountable to their residents who contracted COVID-19 during the pandemic? And should they be held accountable? These are questions that we've gotten from several callers every month since March of 2020. Um, people whose loved ones were in nursing homes have been affected probably more than any segment of society as a whole. You've all heard on the news how, how COVID-19 decimated these facilities. And as a result, many people died. Now, governors of many states have enacted immunity laws to protect the nursing homes. New York and New Jersey are included. In fact, in New York, if you've followed my videos, you know that Governor Cuomo has reported the deaths in the facilities because he was afraid of getting criticized by the Trump administration. Governor Cuomo directed that the facilities take COVID victims. And he also um, enacted a law that said the nursing homes didn't have to maintain any records during the pandemic because they were so overrun. So the, the laws during COVID have been designed to protect the nursing homes. And the only way that you could bring a lawsuit is if you could establish gross negligence. Well, a law firm in New Jersey, not mine, but another law firm um, was very successful in bringing claims on behalf of 119 victims in state-run facilities. Um, and these victims were veterans of, of the United States and they were in veterans homes. Um, one was in Paramus, the other one was in uh, Edison, New Jersey. And basically all but three of these people died as a result of COVID during the pandemic. And this law firm um, brought claims in gross negligence because the facilities had no protocol, no protocols in place to protect the residents from getting infected. In fact, someone testified, one of the employees in the facility testified during a, pen, during a deposition that they were told not to wear masks because it would frighten the residents. Um, and there were no mask protocols even in place. Um, so gross negligence was one of the grounds. And we actually reached out to one of the attorneys to find out a, a little more about the, the case. And he told us that uh, they also brought federal claims to circumvent the state immunity laws. Right? And they, they were able to show that there were violations of, of federal law, which um, prompted the state of New Jersey to enter into a settlement relatively quick as far as these cases go. Now, COVID really hit us hard in March of 2020. It's when the world shut down. And this case just settled um, in the beginning of 2022, in January 2022, for $53 million. That's right, $53 million. And that's about $445,000 on average to the 119 families. Now, some of that money has to get paid back to Medicare and Medicaid um, for hospital and, and expenses and medical expenses. But I give this firm a lot of credit because they got a, a very good settlement figure quick, very quickly. You know, lawsuits take several years, um, and I believe this lawsuit was um, barely even started um, when, they, when they were able to get the settlement. So in order to um, get all this information, um, file the notice of claim, start a lawsuit, and, and get this um, get this settlement so quickly is tremendous work um, by this firm. And, you know, the, the question becomes, you know, should, this, should, should the nursing homes be held accountable? So 
that's for you to, to let me know your opinion and let me know in the comments what you think. And if you think you have a loved one in a facility that's been um, neglected or abused in a nursing home, we have a guide that we prepared. It's free. Um, you can click the link down below and you get your free guide on what to look for and what to do if you believe a loved one has been neglected or abused in a nursing home. Um, or you can email me, uh, email me directly, and I will be happy to email you a copy of the book. It's uh, P. Rizzuto uh, at rizzutolaw.com, and that's all you have to do, and we'll send you a copy. And if you have questions, call us at one eight five five Rizzuto. We're happy to answer any of your questions regarding nursing home abuse, um, car accidents, um, or any possible claim you think you may have. Call us. We answer questions like yours every single day, and we're happy to do so. And we don't charge. We don't charge you for a phone call or a consultation. So give us a call. We're happy to help. And if you found this information useful, check out the other videos on my YouTube channel. And um, hopefully you'll find them useful too and get some valuable information from it. So I'll see you there.